Hi everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing some more Valentine's gift ideas and this one I think is a super simple, super elegant gift that will be perfect for pretty much anybody in your life. Obviously not your kids though. So in front of me I have a bottle of champagne and I've actually removed the label from this. So how I removed the label is I left the champagne soaking in some soapy water. So when you do this, you need to do it only up until the ribbons. This is actually paper, so you can see mine has torn a little bit. So just make sure that you don't get the, the sort of paper on the top wet, if there is any. So I left it in the soapy water, and once the label started to lift, I just wiped it off. It did leave behind some glue residue, and what you can use to get rid of that is some Q20 or tool in a can. Um, there are other options that you could use, but these are the ones that I find worked the best. They are so quick, it takes all of the glue residue off. Just remember that once you've done that, you will need to wash the bottle again because it does leave a very oily residue behind. So once you've done that, you can obviously get to applying your vinyl or your printable vinyl if you want to do that. So initially I was going to do printable vinyl. But at the time that I did my principal vinyl, I didn't have the bottle with me, so my sizing wasn't correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to use normal vinyl for this bottle. But I am going to show you how to design both of them. So something to remember when working with your designs is that you don't want to work on this curved surface. So for here, you want to kind of keep your decal to that size if you're using principal vinyl, because that you can't really maneuver. If you're using a normal vinyl, you should be fine. You should be able to go over there if you want to. So let's very quickly jump into our design. I will show you how to do a printable vinyl and I will show you how to do a normal vinyl one. I personally do feel that the printable vinyl looks a lot more elegant, but we're going to rock it with the normal vinyl. Once we've done that, we will jump into the design for the glasses, which we're going to do etching on, and then we will do that as well. So I think this video is going to be pretty quick, pretty simple, but hopefully it's going to encourage some people to get going with their Valentine's gifts and to maybe do something handmade because not everything handmade needs to be difficult. Um, I love glass etching. I think it looks absolutely beautiful, so elegant, and I think a lot of people are daunted by it, so I'm hoping that this video will help you feel more comfortable with it. So let's jump into the design elements um, or the design portion of our um, project and then we will get to making it. Both of our designs are pretty simple. So we're going to start with our champagne bottle. So we say obviously new project. We're going to insert two templates. So I have measured where the bottle is straight and doesn't curve. So remember, if you're doing vinyl, you can get away with the curves. But if you're doing principal vinyl, you're going to want to keep it on the straight edges. So if you're doing a straight wine bottle, your design will probably be longer um, or higher. Um, but the champagne bottle that we're doing, it is pretty small. So we're going with seven centimeters. We're going to duplicate this. For our vinyl, we're going to change it to a guard because we don't want it to cut. And for our print and cut, we're going to change it to white. So I'm just going to do a basic um, design for the print and cut because, yeah, we, we're not actually going to use it. Um, you can obviously design it any way you want to. So we're going to look for flowers. And we're going to change our operation type to print then cut. And that's just going to narrow it down for us so that it's nice and easy and we're not looking through millions of photos. So we're just going to choose one. Let's take some flowers. All oh, these are quite pretty. We're going to say add to canvas. Okay, we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to duplicate our square. So I'm going to show you why we're going to do that. So we're going to make these smaller. Bring it to front, make this smaller and bring it to front. Okay, we're going to take both of those, we're going to flatten them so that they're one image. Um, let's duplicate it. We're going to duplicate it, put it at the bottom, flip it vertical. 
And then you know what, we're going to flip it horizontal as well, just so that it is more uniform. Okay, we're going to select this one and say, um, okay, so let's unflatten this. It doesn't like that it's flattened. So we're going to do each one individually. So we're going to slice that. Remember, you can only slice with two images at a time. And then we're going to slice that. We're then going to do the same for the bottom. We can get rid of all of these. We just want the bottom one. Let's unflatten that. And we're going to slice this. And then we're going to slice this. Okay, so we can delete all of our extra bits out. And this we can now flatten. Okay, so that is our design for our border. And we're going to add in some text. Oh, that says story. I should say story. So we're going to duplicate that because I am actually going to use that wording. Change this. Okay, what you we're actually going to use that one. So let's duplicate that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change your line spacing so that it's closer together. Basically, just change it until it looks how you want it to look. Make that smaller. Okay, let's align center horizontally. Center, oopsie, center vertically. Okay, change this to black or whatever color you want to use, and you're going to flatten that. Super simple. What you're then going to do is you're going to add an offset. So this is very important. Um, I do this with all of my print and cut projects, and you'll see the reason for that. So if you look at this offset, let's change this to um, printing. Uh, sorry, to basic cut. And what we're going to do is we're going to say contour. Now you can see that there's a whole bunch of things going on here. We're going to hide all the contours so it creates a solid square. We're going to change that back to print then cut. And you can even change the color if you want to. So if you don't want that little outline. And you're going to flatten that. That is now ready to be printed and cut. So for our vinyl, we're also going to change our line spacing. What we're going to do here is we're going to add an offset and that's just going to help us to cut it. Um, so if it's very thin and you're using vinyl, you're going to battle if you don't add some thickness to it. So if ever you're working with a soft vinyl or very thin words, very thin pictures, I prefer personally to add an offset. So we're going to do 0 0.02. Let's try that. Apply that. There we are. We've got some thickness now. So we're going to stick that there. Then we're going to go to our images again. And we're going to change it to cut only. We don't want printing cut. And we're going to look for roses. I'm thinking with the color of the champagne, we can probably do a nice textured metallic. I think that will, well, the colors on the champagne bottle, I think that will pop nicely. Um, so let's have a look. Oh, these are gorgeous. Let's add that to the canvas. Make that smaller. So I'm thinking the middle words should probably be um, a white, just so that it pops on the champagne nicely because it is quite a dark bottle. Oh wow, that's pretty. Let's duplicate this, and we're going to flip it vertical. We're going to align everything center horizontally. Look how gorgeous that looks. And just like that, you have created a personalized 
label or sticker, whatever it is you want to call it. So obviously we're going to change this to white. And I think our roses will be uh, textured metallic. So you have to kind of imagine on that one. Um, don't worry too much about your spacing because obviously they're going to cut individually. So you can figure out your spacing when it comes time to actually putting it together. I think this is going to work great though. So we're going to get to cutting this and then we will make it. In our previous videos, we have done glass etching and we have also done um, stencils. It is a super simple process. So because I am doing champagne flutes, which are very long and curved, I've decided to work with an oval shaped um, template. So I'm doing something very simple, but I think it's going to be super elegant. So you can obviously go as intricate as you want with this. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. This is just going to give you an idea of how you're going to work with it. So we're going to insert a oval. We're going to duplicate that and we're going to unlock it so that we can create our template. We're going to do the same here. Let's actually just, so sometimes I make it more difficult for myself. I can just duplicate that super simple. So we're going to insert text and we're going to say Wendy, keep that space. And then we're going to change this to Gravura. So you can see I love this font. I think it's super elegant. Okay, so I have seen that it should be about um, seven centimeters width, I think it was. I think um, I'll have to double check that. So I'm going to add some thickness. So let's duplicate this and change this to our other one. Okay, and we're going to add an offset. So let's try 0 0.05. So remember, when you're doing etching, you probably can get away with um, thinner things, but I'm not going to take a chance. I think as you do it more, you'll become more comfortable with doing more intricate things. And what I would suggest is if you don't know if something's going to work, if you have an old coffee bottle like a Jacob's bottle, you can actually use that to test if your design is going to work that way. If it doesn't work, you haven't lost, you know, an entire product. So you haven't put it on a wine glass and it hasn't worked. Now you've got a wine glass that you can't use. So that's actually a great way to sort of save your product. Um, so let's say apply. And as you can see, that gives it some thickness. We're going to do the same here. Now you can add obviously flowers. You can add whatever you want into this. So we're going to make these smaller now. So when you're doing your template, you do want to keep it as thin as possible, but obviously you don't want to lose um, any parts of the design. So let's say align center horizontally and center vertically. And there you can see nothing's touching the edges, which means we're not going to um, have any bleeding or anything like that. So we're going to do the same here. So let's align that and see. So with this one, the top of it is very, very close to the edge and I'm scared that I may lose some parts. So I'm just going to give this one some more thickness. Okay, so now you can either attach it or you can slice it. It's up to you. So if you are wanting to use the same template every time and just change it up, you can just attach it. That way you can detach it and use the template again. Otherwise, you can just slice. They will do the exact same thing. And then we have our templates. Super, super simple. So just remember, um, when you're doing something like this, you're going to want something that is able to create a stencil. So you've got to think about what a stencil looks like. Um, you're not going to want to use big solid objects. So a, a layered image, let's say. You're not going to want to use something like that because your back image is a solid piece. So to create a stencil, that's not really going to work. You're going to want something that has a lot of lines and that even if there's no color, you can sort of figure out what it is. So there is our stencil templates. Super, super simple. Not difficult at all. Um, I think this is actually such an amazing project for beginners even. So let's get to making this. I've finished cutting and weeding our decals. So I know that I said that I was going to use um, 
texture metallic but i found this gorgeous rose gold so i'm just cleaning the bottle with some alcohol just again make sure that there's nothing stuck or no um residue left behind so these are these this is the gorgeous rose gold that i found um i think i might have got this from craft buddies i definitely got this from craft buddies and um, it's one of my little off cuts but i think it goes perfectly with what we're trying to do here so that is what we're going with okay so we're going to put our bottom one on first and that's going to help us space everything else perfectly Okay, so we're going to use this midline as our sort of um, straightening, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but I think you understand. Oh, that looks so cute. That looks super cute. Okay, we're just going to put that on there for just now. Now we're going to apply our wording. So doing it in the order that I'm doing it is helping me to correctly space it. So if I put the top on first, there's a chance that I may not fit everything. Um, or if I put the wording, there's a chance that I may not fit the roses on the top and the bottom. Okay, again we're going to sort of center it so what I do want to do here is just cut this Look how cute that looks so far. Okay, and then we're going to put our last piece on, which is our top roses. Oh, look how pretty that looks. I love story is my favorite. I love it. I think that is so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so that's our wine bottle done. Nice and simple. I think if you're going to push out like a hundred of these things, so say you're selling them, the principal vinyl is going to be the way to go because the amount of time that I took weeding was a lot to be doing a whole bunch of these. Um, but I think if you're just doing one for your loved one, uh, normal vinyl can definitely work. I think this looks super, super cute. Okay, let's move on to making our etched glasses now, and then I will show you the finished product. So you've seen how we did our designs. Okay, we've got our little stand, and we have our little flute. <laughs> so here are our designs, and I'm just going to snip them apart. And then we're going to go ahead and weed them. So let's move this aside. 
Okay, so remember you're making a stencil, you're not doing a decal. So the difference is you're going to take out the parts that you would usually keep. So we're going to take out basically the letters and we're going to leave all the little inside bits behind. Then we're going to use transfer tape for this. And as much as possible, we want to try and not get bubbles. So that is important. Now, just as we did with the wine bottle, we want to clean with alcohol. That just makes sure that there's no residue, nothing to stop anything from sticking. Make sure it's completely dry. If there's any even alcohol left behind, your poor um, vinyl is not going to stick. So now we're going to apply our decal. And I do want to put this sideways just to make it a bit easier for me. Okay. Let's just see. I kind of do want that upper bit. Okay, any bubbles you're going to want to push to the outside so that it doesn't affect the letters because obviously your letters is where your etching cream is going to go and bubbles in the letters, like here, that's a problem. Okay. Now we are going to apply our second one and then we can get to etching. So as you can see they're on, there is bubbling, but it's on the outside, so that shouldn't be a problem. You don't want bubbling, you could see that I snipped in some places, you don't want bubbling where, like here for instance, where it's going to leak through and ruin your design. That is what you don't want. So this all looks good. Right, let's get our etching cream and get going with this. For the etching, we're going to be using Armour Etch Glass Etching Cream, and this is highly abrasive. Um, obviously, do not get it onto your skin. It will burn you, um, and it possibly will burn other stuff that you get it onto as well. So you should be using gloves. Maybe I should put gloves on because I'm super clumsy. Okay, the correct gloves to use are actually like kitchen top gloves, um, like safety gloves, not these gloves, but this will at least give me time to get it off should it mess on me okay so i'm gonna give this a little mixy mix we don't want to overfill it obviously and we just want to brush this on to our stenciled area so it does want quite a thick layer
And be careful not to go off of your stencil, that's important. Okay, we're going to put this aside, laying down flat, um, and use something to stop it rolling over. And we're going to do our next one. Okay, so we have to leave this for about three minutes. It says one to three minutes. I would leave it three to five minutes. So currently, um. I have to go and wash my brush so if you were doing a lot of these what you could do and what would work is doing let's say two um, just checking that everything is here that it's all covered so what you could do is say do two and then take that armor edge and put it onto your next ones so I'm just gonna go and wash my brush I'll be back in five minutes okay we have washed it so I just sprayed it down with water and then I put a bit of um, soap just over the stencil area just to clean it up. Let's just do this so it's going to be easier for you to see. Just dry it up a bit. Okay. So for this I've used removable vinyl. You can use anything you want, but I just decided I wanted to use the removable because I don't really use it much. So it just seemed a good use for it. And as you can see, it looks beautiful. There we are. How gorgeous is that? Okay, now we're going to do the same for the other one. How stunning is that? Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And there you have two beautiful etched wine glasses literally within 15 minutes. Literally 15 minutes. Like that was super, super quick. And I love it. I think it looks so elegant. And it's such a good gift. Um, whether it be for weddings, whether it be for Valentine's Day, anniversaries, I think that is gorgeous. Um, I think everybody's scared of etching. I know I was before, um, but now I just love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So there's our etched wine glasses. Um, I hope that I'll see a lot of etched items on the group in the coming weeks.